Oh, good morning, Kevin. Uh, beautiful, glorious morning in Cairns, a winter morning in it Cairns. Is. We're wearing our woolies. Um, probably the start of our traditional tourist season. Where's the people? Desolate scene. Uh, abs Empty. Absolute desolate scene. And we've got to fix it. Um, this would be one of the most busiest corners in Cairns, I would have thought, on a, on a morning like today, and there is just simply no one here. Well, look behind me, up here is the same. We're on the restaurant strip of Cairns, which normally would be a hive of activity right now, and desolate. And this is the state of our economy, and getting worse, getting worse, and we have to turn it around. We have to make some decisions. We have to open the borders. That's the first thing that needs to happen and the sooner the better. I just cannot understand for the life of me why we're at that situation where we've got this complete and utter obstinacy on the, on the, on the part of the Queensland Government when everybody else is opening. And uh, it just makes no sense and is killing our economy. It's the first thing that should happen. The second thing that should happen is that the airport needs to agitate to open up. The airport needs to get into this debate big time and to make sure that we can get airlines to put tickets into the market, fares into the market, schedules into the market so we can take advantage of the holiday season, the school holiday season, which is a key component of our economic viability and economic activity in far north Queensland. This is a regional issue now. You go north of here to Palm Cove, you go further north to Port Douglas, and it's the same desolate scene. No hope. No hope. Com complete confusion. What is the state government going to do next? They don't know. We don't know. And we have to change that. We have, we have to have many voices out there demanding answers so that we know we can plan and get moving again. So, Kevin, how do you see the, the roadmap to recovery? What would that look like? The roadmap to recovery simply is this. We need to grab hold of what economy we have left here now. We need to go back and reconstitute our tourism industry. It will change. There will be in inevitable changes to it and how it's structured, but we need to get back into it. We need boats to go to the Great Barrier Reef. We really need to reclaim our economic, uh, our economic uh, discussion. We really need to drive it. You see, there are three, there are three groups in this now. There, there, are the wealth, is, there is the welfare sector, there is the private sector who is driving this, and you've got the public sector who are silent. They don't care. They're still on full tote odds. The people in the middle, the people in the middle that have driven this region, have driven this economy, have driven North Australia, are the forgotten ones. We've been thrown to the wolves. We've been cast aside. We need to get into this debate and demand certain things from the, from the Premier, from the Queensland Government, to assist us in getting out of this. We are laggards now. This state are laggards in this debate. It's not me saying it. There are commentators throughout Australia saying it. We have one Commonwealth Health message that says, open the borders, please open the borders. And then we have a state that is now a recalcitrant, that is neglecting any of that advice. We're the slowest out of all of this. And here's a state that relies on open borders, particularly the tourism industry and the visitor industry and the service industry, to survive. So we need that to happen immediately. Once that happens, once that happens, then we will have a clearer picture of where we're heading in terms of international uh, travel. And then we will have a clearer picture in, as to what opportunities there are post-COVID for this, season, this, this region to make sure that it has a, its own roadmap to recovery with the assistance of the federal and the state governments. That's the challenge. But immediately we have to get people back into this city, people back into this region, and people back into Northern Australia. So Kevin, you, you've spoken strongly about the urgency uh, to get something happening. How fragile is our economy right now and where are we headed? Look, a couple of us did the number crunching on, on the weekend in terms of the true unemployment levels. They jump about a bit because of the ABS statistics. But as we stand here now, our unemployment is of the order of 16%. 
it will head to 20% in the next couple of weeks, and, it, 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 and it, we anticipate it will bottom out un, unless something happens drastically soon, it'll bottom out at about 24%. That is a huge figure. That is a huge figure, and there's a big recovery from that. You know, my heart goes out to this region that has to suffer that sort of, those sorts of numbers. It is disgrace. And unless we have decisions made now to recognise that, recognise the importance of vibrant economies, it's going to take us years to exit from this, uh, this, this bottom, so to speak. So we need to move forward. Well, thank you, Kevin. Um, clearly, we need strong leadership here. And uh, thank you for your efforts in bringing this to our attention. Look, it's a pleasure. That's what I'm here to do. And that's what Enterprise North does best. Thank you very much.